Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name's Star. I'm just a 34 year old mom of three boys who loves playing in makeup. Whether that be indie, luxury, affordable, I love it all. So today I thought that we would do my Shop My Stash video. So if that's something that you're interested in, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first off, <clears throat> I tore a muscle in my neck. So I'm really hurting on this side. I'm on lots of medicine, but I got to get these videos filmed for you guys. So <clears throat> the uh, first thing I want to talk about is some of the palettes. So I got the, I put the Carnival palette in here. I used that several times. I love it. I'm not going to pull that out because it's over there and I don't feel like reaching for it, but I've already done a first impressions on it. I also did uh, some, some Instagram post so if you're interested in any of that then just go check out my instagram at starlight beauty 3 um so but today on my eyes i have the that's taupe palette and it looks like this um today's saturday when i'm filming this so of course um we went to the football game my makeup is all, pretty much all shot my stash items today and um it looks pretty pretty good that's my son gabe he got hurt in football his arm is messed up on the same side that my neck is messed up on. So, we're twinning when we wear our um, slings, which I'm not currently wearing so I can film this. Please don't hit this side of me. All right. Um, but anyway, actually, I really love my eye makeup today. And I've had this on for several hours. So, um, I used the shade Boa, the shade Python, the shade... Snake Eyes, Bedrock, and Slated on my inner corner. So, really love this. Glad I picked it up and I finally got to use it. Um, other than the Carnival, the other favorite palette I used this week is, believe it or not, this little ColourPop quad um, in the shade Sparkler. Guys, I used this for work this week. These are so pigmented. It, it, I mean, it's gorgeous. I highly recommend picking up this little one. Um, I just, I love it a lot. The last palette I used once, and it was the Nabla Nude palette, the little cutie palette. Um, I really, I just love, I love this palette. I love the shades. It's really gorgeous. I don't usually use this black to go to work, um, so, but I, I love it. Um, oops. All right, and the, I used the Blushing in Bali, the six color blush and highlighter palette. Um, that's what this looks like. I used these two shades for work and these two highlighters. I didn't really use either one of these this week because I, I didn't need to do a look um, with that. This highlighter would be um, more of like a blush topper, this one. Um, and I just, I didn't have a reason to use that this week. So, but all in all, I really enjoy this. I'm glad I picked it up. Um, <clears throat> for foundation, well, let's go through... This is the primer I used. It's the uh, Revolution Mattify Primer. Um, there's nothing special about it. Yes, it's a mattifying primer. Yes, it helps my makeup stay on. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase this, but I'm glad I tried it out, and I'll probably, you know, get around to using it up. So, I used the Elf Camo CC Cream this week. This was in, like, 20. I had to use my, um, I think it's my Catrice Darkening Drops because this is too light for me right now but when i mixed it in with those it, it was perfect i love this this is a good full coverage cc cream highly recommend that i also used the estee lauder futurist hydra rescue i also had to use this with darkening drops um i'm still testing this out to, to be honest i mean it's light coverage but i don't mind light coverage but this is just it doesn't seem to wear a super long time on me so I need to continue testing this one out before I can give you guys full thoughts I used the and this was uh, if you would have seen me use this in one of my get ready with me is using my Ulta stuff um, this is the bye bye foundation full coverage moisturizer in the shade light medium I have that on today like I said I've been out in the Sun at football wearing a mask and it's held on pretty good. It's coming off my chin just a little bit, but I was wearing a mask. Um, it really still held up around my nose really good, especially considering I was wearing a glass and mask. Uh, so I like that. <clears throat> this, I did not use at all. This is the flower light illusion. It just, it didn't color match and 
I was testing out the other stuff and I already know I love this, but I just need to just pull it back in when I am don't have as much of a tan. This e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer is so not the right color for me right now. It's way too light and yellow. Um, so I've been wearing my Conceal and Define from Revolution. It's a project pan item. I'm trying to use it up, but I love the formula on this. I just either need to, this is light beige. I'm just either going to have to use it in the winter or I need to pick up another shade that I can actually use now, but I love the formula of that. All right. So I also, I didn't use all of these, but... I used the shade Venom and the shade Pinup. I used these two shades. Um, these are the uh, Be Perfect Carnival, the liquid shadows. So I still need to use all of these, but guys, I had heard, and if you watch the um, first impressions video, I heard that these transferred really bad. Now I have hooded lids, so I was very wary of these. These did not transfer on me at all. Um, I love these. These are a great liquid shadow, and I can't speak for, you know, the four I haven't tried, but these two, I highly recommend. If y'all love liquid shadows, I mean, I would, I would get those, because at least the two I know I've tried. Um, this is NARS Sin. I only used it once this week. I think I'm gonna wait and pull this back out in winter, because this, I thought it would be like a pretty, like a mauve berry color that might work with some of my more mauve berry toned eyes but I, I think I'm going to get more use out of that in the winter so um this is my whisper of guilt mac extra dimension skin finish you guys know I love this I mean it's it's beautiful you, you guys know how I feel about mac so wonderful if my words are not coming out correctly. Like I said, I'm on tons of medicine at this moment. So, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 2 medium. Guys, this is starting to get hard pan and not a lot comes off on the brush, no matter what type of brush I use. Um, the tone is fine. I really just don't think this is worth that. How much money is it? Like $58? No, I have so many better bronzers that are so, like, better pigmented, better color. I mean, the color's not terrible, but they're better colored. They're cheaper, and they don't get this hard pan that Natasha Denona is, I mean, uh, Charlotte Tilbury is getting. So, I have it. I'll use it. I don't see the hype. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, I really, I've tried a couple of things from other than their Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't really see the hype in their products. I'm just saying, I know, hate me, but that's just how I feel about it right now. Um, the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Blush in that peach, though. It looks like this. I got some good use out of that this week. I really forced myself to uh, wear more makeup to work this week, I, even though I have to wear a mask. So, I was at least doing um, eyeshadow and concealer and putting a little blush and bronzer and highlight on like nothing crazy because you couldn't see it very much but um I, I didn't really wear the foundation um other than for videos and on the weekend and stuff like that but um the original mineral veil by bare minerals guys I really really super like this um powder it's good it's um got sort of a pink tone to it, which I find is really good for setting under my eyes. I love a pink tone powder for setting under my eyes. So, um, I highly recommend that one. And I don't know, is my lipstick still on? I can't tell. I used these this week, the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. Today, I used the shade Rebel Rose. I've used Mocha, Gimme Mocha a lot. Guys, I don't know, this is the last one of these that I bought and the formula on this one, it's not, it doesn't smell bad or anything, but the formula of this particular one is not the same as these. This is very like requires a lot of layers and I don't know. I don't particularly like, I mean, I love the color. Don't get me wrong, but I don't like the formula in this one. So I think I might be tossing this one, but I love Rebel Rose. 
Um, I did not use the Berry Recognize. Um, I put this on and then immediately took it off because it didn't go with the look, but it's Flame of the Game, but the formula on this one was fine too. And then I didn't wear the red because I didn't have a reason to. Um, the MAC Paint Pots, you guys would see that um, I started wearing my Painterly Paint Pot again, but I do have Soft Ochre and Laying Low. Uh, I haven't tried either one of these out yet. I do want to try this Lay and Low. Um, so maybe I'm going to keep these in and hopefully I'll get around to doing a look with them soon. Um, if you saw the video, these weren't in my shop, my stashes, but I used the, this week I also used the Nabla stuff that I got, the Cover FX stuff, the Anastasia Cream Bronzer, the Flower Beauty stuff. So I used a lot of stuff, um, that wasn't in my shop my stash too this week. So, um, like I said, if you want to see those, go check out my, I think it's the ColourPop Tinkerbell and Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, um, video that I did. And, um, that's it for what we're going through now. Let's go move over to my, uh, makeup drawers and start picking stuff out. Okay. So I went ahead and went through my drawers that's up higher that I, can't get the camera up there. So I really want a gripping primer for this week. So I pulled out my e.l.f. Uh, Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Uh, this reminds me of the, like the Jelly Pop one, but I really want to use that. And then for face palettes this week, I wanted to pull out my Hourglass palette because, um, you know, the new ones are, are in and I don't know if I want to get the other ones or not. So I kind of want to use this one and see how much use I get out of it. This one is the um, the sculpture palette. So I want to give that one a try and foundations. I want to use uh -oh. And if you see my kids my, my makeup room is such a mess right now. It's not even Let's pull out the color pop Pretty fresh in the shade Light 60 in. I think, I don't know if I recently pulled that or not, but I don't know if that's the right shade. And then, I don't really know. Most of this stuff I'm going to have to darken. Let's pull out the Urban Decay Stay, oh, Stay Naked um, foundation. I might have to use my darkener for this, but we're going to give that one a try. And for concealer, I want to use, is that the regular? I got the ultra creamy, sorry, the ultra creamy concealer and I haven't used this yet. I got it. I, it was on sale a while ago or something, but, um, so I want to give that one a try and see what that one looks like. And let's see. I got to adjust this. All right, so for highlights this week, um, hang on. Okay, for highlight this week, I am picking this Dior Universal Face Palette. It's got like these two highlights. I can sort of get away with that as like a highlight or a blush topper, depending on how I use it. And then this bronzy tone. Uh, I want to play with this some more. Um, I love it, so... That sounded really fake right now, guys. Sorry about that. Um, and for blush, let's see. Um, let me scoot this up a little bit. I want to use, let's see. I don't really know what I want to use. Let's do this Shior in Charnel. Um, it's just a really pretty, like, natural color so we'll pull that one and then let's pull this elf one in the shade always cheeky um i got some you know blushes in that uh hourglass palette too so i don't really need to pull a ton and the bronzer drawer let's go down um what do I want to pull? let's like pull this out and see what we got in the back you know what? Let's use this Dior face palette as well. This is the shade Universal. It looks like that. I just, I guess I'm feeling the high-end makeup. Um, the, you know, all the holiday stuff's releasing and all of that. Um, 
I finally got my hands on the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. So that should be coming. It should be here like Tuesday or so. Um, what do I want to pull for face powders? I just used that. Let's go with this Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I'll give that one a go this week. And I really need to do, I think I'm thinking about doing a makeup organization videos so that you guys can like help me organize all of my stuff. You know what? I also want to pull out this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. I got this a while ago and I haven't even like used it. And I just want to know if it's actually any good or not. So I'm going to pull that out too. Mm. Let's see. I do want to pull like, one of these liquid shadows this week. I just kind of want a... I'm going to go with this Natasha Denona Chrome Crystal in the shade Moonstone. I'm going to pull that one. And then I want to pull one of these um, Hourglass ones, Scattered Light ones. I want to pull out the shade Ray that looks like this. So, I want to use that. And let's see. Um, we're scooting down here because I actually finished up my eyebrow pencil. So, I need to pull something else. And I think we're going to go with this Hourglass Arch Micro Sculpting Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brunette. Give this a try and see how we like that one. And my kids have been in here. Do I want to pull anything from in here? Um, I got a lot of new palettes and I know I want to try some of them. So, I don't know. Hang on and let me think about it. Okay, so we're back. So I know I didn't show you, like I said, my makeup room. It's a mess since I got hurt. I haven't done anything, but I did pull out some um, palettes. So these weren't on that bookshelf anyway, because these were new palettes. So I want to use the uh, Nomad America's Parks palette. I got the uh, Haunted Europe one. It's already on its way to me. It should be here, I think, on Tuesday. Um, but I want to use this because a lot of these colors are really pretty for the fall. And I think I'm going to do a get ready with me, like, fall-inspired look with this. Um, I also have the Fire and Ice one, but I already, I already used that one. Um, I already have a first impression up on that one, if you're interested. Um, the next one I pulled out, because I liked that little sparkler palette so much, I pulled out the ColourPop She's a Natural. This one is new to me, too. I haven't used it yet. This is what it looks like. And I'm thinking about, I guess, just pulling it out with, um, so I keep my singles right here. Not all of them, but these are my Looksee singles and my... Terra Moon singles, and this is one look-see that just didn't fit in that palette. So, um, I think that would be a good thing. You know, I could always pull it out with, you know, because it's just a little matte quad. And then, I'm feeling Halloween already, guys, and I'm thinking about doing a video on my, like, favorite spooky makeup or, like, Halloween-themed packaging. So, I want to use the Wicked Sisters Cosmetics um, In Your Dreams palette. It's the Freddy Krueger-inspired one, and there are a lot of beautiful fall colors in this. Side note, um, Wicked Sisters started following me on my Instagram, and I am now um, featured on their shop page for um, their Slash My Heart palette. So, definitely go check that out. Love uh, Wicked Sisters Cosmetic. By far my favorite like brand, the favorite packaging. Like I just I just love them as an indie brand. So all right, so that's what we got for eyeshadow palettes. And the only other thing you guys didn't see, you can't get these anymore. This is the older formula. I don't know if they redid their formula or not, but I brought out all of the Give Me Glow Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have the shade Rock On. It's really pretty. Um, Dirty Pumpkin, 
I'm hoping all of this is in focus and it looks dark. I think I need to get some more lighting. Uh, Georgia Peach and Hocus Pocus. And I think these will be really good for my um, fall looks that I'm going to have coming for that. So that's those. And then, of course, I showed you guys I pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury powder and the Cover FX powder. I pulled out the Hourglass Sculptor palette. Um, I don't know how much I'll get a use out of like this blush because it's very bright. Um, I actually think I have that in a regular fiber and flow. What's the name of it? Uh, I don't know. I might not have that one, I, but I swear I have a color that's just like that. I thought it was called poppy something, but I could be wrong. Um, and I pulled out the elf mint melt primer along with these two foundations, the urban decay and the color pop. We'll see if I have to use a darkener for these. The Ultra Creamy Tarte, I haven't used that yet, so that'll be fun. I pulled out both of these Dior palettes to use. I pulled out these two blushes, one for e.l.f. from e.l.f. and this Dior one, which, guys, I really, I just, I love this. I love this blush um, so much. I pulled out the... Uh, Hourglass Arch Soft Brunette Eyeshadow um, Eyebrow Pencil and the Scattered Light Eyeshadow in the shade Ray. It looks like that. And the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Moonstone. So, that's what I got this week for my Shop My Sash or the next two weeks. Let me guys know. Um... Is two every two weeks good enough, or do you want to see them every Saturday? Um, if I start doing them every Saturday, I might, like, put a bonus video in um, through the week every now and then. But let me know. Just leave me a comment. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, it helps me know what you guys want to see. Leave me any comments or anything you want to see uh, down below. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am so happy with all the new subscribers we got. Thank you guys for subscribing, for watching, for commenting. Um, I love all of you guys, and uh, just remember, makeup is just for fun. It's not meant to be judgmental, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!